Hi, it's me, Bamp, and welcome to the podcast. Now, if you're watching slash listening on YouTube, welcome to the podcast. If you guys are listening from anywhere, welcome to the podcast. Don't know why I said that intro, I just kind of did. Okay, so, first of all, I want to say that I actually... Uh, Okay, I like this time of the year for a few reasons, but at the same time, I hate this time of the year. First of all, my birthday is on December 1st. That's always good, you know, another year older, another year wiser, right? But, for some reason lately, I've been prone to being sick at least a little bit. So, I mean, I feel better. Today, but like yesterday, I was so sick I couldn't even stream. Twitch.tv slash spam 6 x 6 x 6 x Okay, anyway, let's talk about what I want to talk about today. By the way, this might be a shorter podcast. I don't know yet. Let's see where it takes us. But what I want to talk about today is... The fact that the update launched. Um, well, for con, okay, for PS4 and Xbox One, it launched last week, Tuesday, to be exact. Um, for the Switch, unfortunately, it has not arrived yet. Um, this isn't DE's fault. This is Nintendo. And then, yeah, Nintendo's cert process, I don't understand if it failed cert or if it is just taking a long time. Maybe Nintendo is backlogged because of the holiday. I really don't know. I know how the cert process works. Um, basically, each respective platform owner, you know, Microsoft, Sony, and Nintendo, each make sure that the update doesn't break any consoles. And if it failed, I don't know if D would actually mention that to us or not, but I don't think it failed. I mean, it didn't fail on the PlayStation or the Xbox. The only thing I know that's different about the Nintendo update is that it will um, go beyond the base allowance of the Nintendo Switch, meaning you would need an SD card even to play it. So that's all I know about that. And let's, let's get into the review. As you can see, I'm still a little bit sick. Okay. So, I think the update is good. Okay, now a lot of people are iffy about this update. Of course, I'm not talking about the Rising Tide update. Consoles haven't got that yet. I'm talking about 26.0.6, I guess, which is the update with the Ledger system entirely. I like that update. Now, because we have so long to wait between updates, I know a lot of people aren't really the biggest, you know, fan of the update. They thought it was way too hyped. And, you know, that is definitely an opinion. And, I mean, I don't agree, but I know where they're coming from, okay? I like the update quite a bit. It's quite enjoyable to me. But I can understand where they are coming, with, be, coming from because of the fact that there was such a long wait. Now, see, what I think should have happened is, um, I know because the whole cert process, this would be a lot harder than I say on paper. I say it right now, but I wish they would have released Grindel in a different update because I keep saying 
Grendel gets overshadowed. There's even a Titania Deluxe skin that got overshadowed by the update. Grendel got overshadowed by the Lich system. Titania Deluxe got overshadowed by the Lich system. So what I think they should have done, I think this would have been the smart move to release, you know, Grendel and Titania Deluxe together. You know, let people play around with that, those missions for a while and whatnot. Then, like, maybe a week later or something, release the old blood, you know, with, like, improvements, quality of life changes, all this, that. Uh, maybe being able to get some Requiem mods in the Nightwave store. I don't know, maybe, like... Boy traders sell some Cuba or something. I don't know. Um, and yeah, that's what I think should have happened. Only because of the fact that as of right now, it seems like people are upset. Not because the update sucked, because it didn't. I've heard a lot of people say that it was good, they liked it. I think people are upset because it was overhyped. And that's, that's not a good thing, especially leading up to the future. Now that I mentioned Rising Tide on PC, that's not on any console yet. Rising Tide on PC. Oh, and I just want to say, if you're listening to this, podcasts um on any other day but tuesday um november 26 2019 eastern time the update on switch might have already came out and if it did welcome to the club switch on us welcome to the club uh, okay so back to what i would think rising tide we can build our docks, and from my, my understanding, there's a mission. I didn't watch too much about it yet. Like I said, it's on PC. I have a PC account, but it's not up to date. And the clan I'm in, I'm not the owner of the clan I'm in on PC. So, yeah, there's that. So, what... I think about the rising tide. I think that's I think that's good actually. A lot of people are, are giving them flack for that, but I think I think that's pretty good. I mean the the only bad thing is uh, overhyping for stuff in general. I really think that that will hurt in the long run more than help in the long run. Overhyping. Overhyping is not anyone's friend. Okay, um, that's, that's actually about all I have to say about that. Sorry I've been talking in like small sessions and whatnot. I really, really, really do not feel good. But my review, well, I think of it a oh, well. I like it. I like it quite a bit, actually. And it gives me something new to do that I didn't have previously to do. So consoles can't trade their ledgers back and forth. But, you know, that's perfectly fine when I'm on stream. I try, unless something comes up, I try to kill at least one ledge every stream. Again, twitch.tv slash vamp6x6x6x. And yeah. Oh, and um, I'm actually going to end it soon. Like I said, sort of the normal, still don't feel good. Um, but I do want to tell you a couple of things about my channels. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, Wolf of Madness is the name of the channel. I'm still trying to reach the goal of 3k followers before the end of the year. 
and if you're watching this on, I mean, and if you're listening to this on Anchor, I don't really have to say a goal. I just want you guys to get my content out there for you guys to listen to and hopefully enjoy. And it, and I do also have another YouTube channel called Vamp Plays. I'm trying to reach 200 subscribers on that channel before the end of the year. Now, I know what you're thinking. Vamp, don't you have a goal for Twitch? We already met that goal, oddly enough. The goal was simply, not simply, but the goal was 3K followers before the end of the year. And we did indeed reach that goal, and I am actually quite a bit happy about that, if I'm going to be honest. And I think really that's all I have to say about that. Um, the update, I liked the update. Um, overhyping is definitely a thing. Um, and that's about it. Uh, what do I think about Real Jack? I don't know. It's not here yet. So, yeah. Okay, well, I think I'm going to end the video there. I'm kind of going around in circles now, which isn't always the best thing in the world. So, yeah, sorry for the short podcast. I'll catch you guys in the future. Later.